Hey guys, this is Gilbert here from Click Deploy, and I'm just going to just go through a quick uh, demonstration of how the app works and how to deploy your site. So I've logged in here, I've got my account, I've registered, and I'm ready to add a new uh, site. So let's uh, go ahead and add a project. Um, I've got a test site set up uh, in GitHub. I've literally just created this test site. Um, it's just literally a, a uh, a single folder with a single H HTML file in it um, that will just demonstrate for us uh, to, you know, deploying the site. So um, I'm going to pick this test site from GitHub. Uh, we're just going to deploy the master branch. It doesn't have any other branches at the moment. And we can leave the deployment mode as is at the moment and create this project. So once you've created a project and click deploy, click deploy, the next thing you'll be asked to do is create a server. So I'm just going to add my testing server. I've got it set up here. Um, I know my IP address. I know my user is forward. And at my project path, I'm going to just put as this. So this server already exists. Um, this path already exists. And uh, this is just the server that I'm going to deploy my test site to from GitHub. So I'm just going to add this server. And there we go. Now our project's ready to go. So we could almost hit deploy now at this point. Um, but the, the only problem is, is that we'll get an authentication issue because Click Deploy isn't authorized actually to, to deploy to my server yet. So what we need to do is add our SSH key um, to our server. Now, there's a few different ways you can do this. Um, normally, you can copy and paste this into this authorized key files on your server if you know how to SSH to your server. Uh, another thing you can do is a lot of them um, hosting companies these days, depending on how you use, give you the option to enter this kind of information um, through a dashboard of some kind. So I use Laravel Forge for managing my servers. Um, so this is my testing server here. And I'm just going to quickly add my SSH keys um, here just now. So I'm just going to call it click deploy test, copy in my key, hit add key, and then you'll see it's installing. And this should just take a couple of seconds. And that's us good to go. So now Click Deploy can access my server. So that's actually us for the moment. Um, all we need to do now is hit Deploy Now. And we'll just give it a couple of seconds, watch the deployment run. And hopefully that should all be deployed. So there we go, our site's been deployed. That's the deploy script. And if I now go to um, our site, and there you have it. That's Click Deploy for you. So that's just a quick overview of deployments in Click Deploy. You can, of course, go back and you know view your uh, deployments, your your deployment history, and the um, the deployment logs. And um, there's other bits and pieces you can play with, but I'll leave that for a later date. So that's us for just now. A quick overview of Click Deploy. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, yeah, I hope you you find it useful.